Hi everybody. Today I want to share with you an arts and crafts activity that starts with a really classic thing that we've all done for years and years and years, which is leaf rubbings, and then turns it into a work of art by painting over those leaf rubbings. And so it's really simple. It doesn't take very many supplies to do this and you're going to have a lot of fun. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go out and find yourself an assortment of leaves. And I just have a few here. Um, some of them came from my trees. Some of them came from some of my plants. This is actually from a hosta. Um, and so you're gonna find some of these leaves work better than others for this activity. But the ones that I found that work the best are the larger leaves and the ones that have fairly pronounced veins on the back of them. So once you have your leaves, you're gonna to need to get some kind of paper. Now I'm just using regular printer paper. And actually if you have a sketchbook or you have some sort of a paint or marker pad, these work really, really well. And you can even leave them in the pad and that will help secure the leaf underneath while you're working on it. But if you just have paper, any size is really fine. If you wanna do something really big and mural size, that's great if you have that paper. If you don't, this works just great. And so you're gonna lay that down on a table or some other sort of firm surface because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each one of these leaves and with the veins facing upward, you're gonna lay those down and then you're gonna put your piece of paper over it. Now, everybody's got old crayons, crayons that are broken. This is where you're gonna to get to use those. So if you have crayons, take the paper off the outside of them. And then I actually even scuffed up the ends of mine a little bit with a piece of sandpaper. And then you're gonna take a small piece, I actually, broke mine because it's just easier to handle and maneuver it. And you're gonna start rubbing that over your leaf. And you're gonna be able to see the veins and the outline of your leaf appear on your paper. Now if you want more color, rub just a little bit harder. And if the firmer that you rub, the more of that leaf will appear on your paper. So you're gonna take each of your leaves that you have and you're gonna do that until you have several of them on the same sheet of paper. So then you're going to take this and you're gonna paint over it. And it's gonna end up, each leaf is gonna look something like this. So I used red crayon to do my leaf rubbing on this one, and then I used a yellow paint over the top of it. And then for this one, I actually used a couple of different colors of leaf rubbings. I used black on this one and this one, and then orange paint over the top of it. And then I used red on these two big ones in the middle and yellow paint over the top of it. And then I just sort of put some of that orange paint over the top of the yellow just for an artistic effect. So I have some watercolor paints here or water-based paints here. Um, if you don't have paint, you can use food coloring in just a little bit of water. And of course, the more concentrated you make that, the darker the color will be, but it will dry transparent. Now just be aware that your paper, if you're using food coloring like that, is gonna be very wet. So you're gonna to wanna to let it dry for a long time. But I have these watercolor paints, water-based paints, and so I'm just gonna start painting over my leaf rubbings. Now you can separate it out by leaf. 
You can make shapes. And what you're going to find as you experiment is certain color combinations work better than others. So this is one that I'm doing right now where I use black for the rubbing and I'm using orange paint over the top of it. Now I have just a little bit of water in a plastic cup here so that I can change colors if I want to. And I would encourage you to experiment with different combinations, different crayon colors, different paint colors until you really get the one that you like the best. So I'm gonna try a little bit of yellow now. I'm gonna try that over black because I've not done that, just to see what it looks like. Now I had an example of using a almost a lime green crayon for the etching and you really couldn't see it very well on the paper. But I think if I use the right color over the top of it, it might stand out. Okay, so there is yellow over black. And so you're just going to do that on each and every leaf over your page until you get the colors that you want, until you get your piece of art to look the way you, you want it to. Then all you have to do is let your art dry. And then of course, as I always say, it's a piece of art. You need to sign it and date it, and then you can put it somewhere to enjoy. And so that's really all there is to this craft activity that uses leaves from nature. And you use those designs to help create a beautiful work of art.